going to be um, really interesting to see who won this fight, and we're going to wait. Um, I'm going to say that Badu Jack should be getting a unanimous decision victory over uh, George St. Groves. It's a shame. This is George Groves' third time at a title shot in the big money rematch against James DeGale, maybe out of the window. Um, George Groves goes down early in the fight, uh, taking a right hand, um, almost similar to the way, almost, almost a little bit similar to the way that he um, got knocked out by uh, Carl Frost. Let's look at the punch stats. 506 um, thrown by um, Badu Jack, 210 landed. Okay, 210 of 506, but Badu Jack, 42%. 154 of 721 for George Groves. George Groves, 68 of 266 body, I mean, uh, power shots. Badu Jack, 127 of, two, of 244. So you saw that George Groves may be, okay, he was, he was more active, you know, throwing closer to um, 200 more punches. But what you've seen is that he was not as accurate and he did not land as many as Badu Jack. And that was the story of the fight. It seems as though that overhand right of um, George Groves did nothing, you know, to Badu Jack to the point where Badu Jack at one point in time was walking George Groves down. George Groves, similar to previous fights, Seem to have faded. Uh, to seem to have faded later on in the fight, and it's a shame because basically, I'm, I've been a big George Groves follower and a fan, and now I'm seeing you know you've had three title shots in two years, and it's like now where do you go from here? Do you still try to go after the um, James DeGale rematch in a fighter that you did beat before? You know, even though it was somewhat controversial, or do you go back to the drawing board, you know, over in the UK? Because right now he's looking like a um, a fighter whose career is pretty is pretty much in limbo as far as where does he go from here? Yes, he always he'll be able to say that he helped sell out Wembley, you know, even though it wasn't a real sellout, but basically eighty thousand, seventy thousand plus. Still, he'll be able to say that, but you know, now his. Now, in, in my opinion, his stature has dropped a little bit because this is a fight where a lot of people felt that he was supposed to easily win against Bottle Jack. And now, look, you get Bottle Jack. We don't know what the official decision is yet. Let's get the official decision. Oh, well, welcome to Las Vegas as the 168-pound champion. Let's find out from our very own Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here at the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. Judge at ringside, John McKay, scores about 114 to 113 in favor of George Groves. Mm. Judge at oh. ringside, Guido Cavalletti scores about 115 to 112 in favor of Badu Jack. Could George Groves get a decision in the States? It's about 116 to 111 in favor of the winner. And still champion Badu Jack the Ripper. So Badu Jack is the representative of the Union Jack for a split decision. And it's like, where does George Groves go from here? And, you know, shout out to Battle Jack. People didn't think he was going to beat Anthony Durrell. People didn't think he was going to beat uh, George Groves. And here he is now a reigning 168-pound super middleweight champion. Um, we got a whole bunch more boxing to review and cover. So, therefore, I can't go into too much detail. Where did Battle Jack go from here? You know, who knows? Maybe Anthony, I mean, maybe a rematch with Anthony Durrell, you know. Um, Andre Durrell, Lucy and Butte. Um, there's fights out there for him at the 168 pound division. It all depends on, you know, where he's going to go. But I guess since this is his second fight, you know, um, since, well, his second fight, he won the championship and, um, he just defended it. I'm guessing, you know, he's going to take, you know, somewhat of a softer touch in his next fight since it's a voluntary. Um, T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live with RealCombatMedia.com. And I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.